first things first for our fall reset we are going to go through finally go through our winter and fall clothes hopefully donate majority of the clothes just because i'm trying to like declutter and be minimal and then we need to pack away our spring and summer clothes until next year which is crazy so let's do that real quick But I did go through my winter stuff. This is the try on pile, keep pile, and donations. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, and then starting to get rid of some of Casey's clothes that just like have stains and stuff that we wouldn't keep for like another baby. But overall, I'm pretty happy. I feel like I kept half the donations and um, or kept half my winter fall clothes and donating half. So feel good overall about that. My sisters are going to be so excited because I've already started to send them some stuff and they're like, me, me, like they all want it. Um, so cute. But do I need them? Like that's what I'm saying. I haven't worn these in forever. We'll keep them. Um, so yeah, my sisters are going to be very excited, but let's keep trucking along. <laughs> order in and i'm so excited i have my fall candles you guys know i'm obsessed with bath and body works and their candles and i feel like their fall ones are just elite um i used to literally hoard their candles like i would literally make an order every single weekend it was insane but i'm trying to be just more mindful with my money and kind of <laughs> and just like trying not to be so like hoarding <laughs> so anyways let's get into let's i'll show you guys some they had like three dollar soaps and we were in need of some so i picked some up i got white pumpkin mahogany vanilla and leaves and cozy vanilla almond i'm also not lighting candles as much especially having a baby i just like don't light them when he's in the room like i used to have them in every single room and would have them all lit one headache and two i just like don't want him to be around you know like candles so First one that I got is brown sugar coconut. This seems like it's gonna smell amazing. Coconut, brown sugar glaze, and vanilla bean. Oh, and I was right, it smells so freaking good. And I really like the packaging of this one. Um, I don't love the packaging of this, but like, it's fine. Um, I like more of the like sleek, clean, just like very minimal vibe. And the good thing about like these ones it like goes with my house like the walls and everything so the decor but it's fine it's at the end of the day just so so next candle that i got if you've been around then you guys know how much i'm obsessed with this candle literally my college roommate and i like would freak out and they brought it back last year and i ordered like six and i just 
got one because I still have one from last year and this is radiant red maple again like not really my vibe with the packaging but I, I don't care it could literally have like a picture of Batman on it and I would like order it this one you guys is so freaking good it's the best candle Bath and Body Works has ever had I'm not even exaggerating it's so good like if I do another purchase of Bath and Body Works candles I will get that one it's so good Okay, next is pumpkin s'mores. I like the packaging of this one. They just like oh, kill it in the marketing game. It's super cute. And I saw that they're, um, what is it? Their winter Christmas candles are out. So pumpkin s'mores, oh, their pumpkin scents, I swear, they're so freaking good. This is marshmallow, chocolate, and pumpkin graham cracker. Like delicious, I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, and then, the yeah, last candles that we have. So see, like, not terrible. I also just saw that they sent me a ten dollar reward. Which I don't need any more. I don't need any more. But okay, the last one that I got I've had this one before, and I really liked it is my tried and true pumpkin spice latte. Again, like I like this packaging a lot. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm so excited. So that's my Bath and Body Works haul. I'm going to put this all away. We're going to get our fall decor. I'm debating. I feel like since it's a fall reset, I should go and get my nails done. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video because I just don't know if I'm going to have time this weekend. But just picture that they're done. Anyways, let's go get our fall decor. Okay, so it's now 8 o'clock. We didn't get around to the fall decor, but we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, but usually before bed i like to have like a fun little drink so usually it's like a diet coke or poppy or olipop um or a seltzer water usually it's a seltzer water i try to be good but during the cooler months i also like showered so that's where my hair is wet in a mess um but during the cooler months i like to make a cup of tea i actually just got this new electric kettle which i really like that it's electric i feel like it's just just a lot more commute and having to like turn on the stove top so i'll link that below it was like 13 dollars and has really good reviews so i'll link it but so i just made myself a cup of tea and also i always have ice espresso every single morning but again during the cooler months i like to have a hot coffee we actually got rid of our cure because we just like weren't using it we had a bar bar cart um but it just was really old and we're just getting beat up so we got rid of it um and i just like again we just didn't use the carrying enough however i have a french press so i actually just ordered some pumpkin spice mary lou's you know you know um ground coffee so i can start making french press coffee hot coffee in the morning and then have like iced espresso at night but my camera's gonna die so we're gonna go put you guys on the charger and i just want to show you guys with my fall reset my tea of choice I actually i've never tried this this just came in the mail today and i just picked this up the other day so i'm hoping it's good it's really hot um but we're gonna go get into our cozy pajamas and read our book which i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna do like a full fall night routine on here but just for the purpose of our reset i want to show you guys like the book and everything that i'm reading all right you guys so it's a little bit later i'm in my pajamas i need to get fall halloween pajamas as you guys saw i went through a whole like i have so many donations and clothes that i got rid of um and i just feel so it feels so nice looking in my closet and just like okay now I have pieces that i'm actually wearing and it's not just like overload of clothes i'm never gonna wear um so my sister is very happy with the clothes she's getting and i just feel really good that i'm able to like donate and just get rid of stuff it's the best feeling so made my tea as you guys saw and we talked about i'm gonna try it oh that's really good mm. it literally tastes like a caramel apple with like cinnamon <gasps> and comment below if you've been around since this mug i had this literally since me and my college roommate um did our youtube channel together 
it's like the first mug I ever bought and I feel like Demi Lovato. I like mugs because you can hold them. Um, the handle, whatever she says, but I just, I can't get rid of it. I love like cups and I am Demi Lovato. Okay, enough of that. So let's use delicious. I'm so sore. We're not going to do like a vlog, even though it's really hard not to. I'm trying to do like a fall reset, but we're also in our health and wellness era starting this fall. I'm nine and a half months postpartum and before I was really hard, especially like getting rid of clothes was hard because I was like, nope, this is going to fit me again. Like I'm going to try my best to fit into these clothes. And I finally just like accepted that I'm never going to, not never, but I'm okay with how I look. I had my baby nine and a half months ago and overall I just want to feel and look good. I don't necessarily care about getting back to like my weight or looking how I look before um, like being pregnant, but I just want to prioritize like my health. So that's also in our fall reset. But anyways, I want to talk about, because obviously he comes <laughs> freaking sleeping, so cute, washed our comforter. We're going to get such a good night's sleep. Kason, please sleep through the night. One can dream. Um, but speaking of fall, we have books. So I'm going to do a whole like TikTok, but maybe if you guys, let me know if you guys would want to see like a TBR of my fall, like what's on my fall reading list. I am on Goodreads, so I'll link that below, but I want to talk about these two books that I'm reading and it's TBR. So currently reading The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. My sister is obsessed with this book. I just like haven't been reading. I've been scrolling a lot on TikTok, which I know is not good during this fall reset um i want to try and get to bed before 10 o'clock so i want to like be off my phone by nine o'clock and then read for an hour or it's hard obviously i own my business and it's primary it is fully online and socials and stuff and like my personal brand so it is hard to kind of like get off my phone um because i'm either like looking through vendors emails catching up on socials like doing you know what most people do but I want to try and get better at like unwinding and reading before bed so I'm not too far into this book it is good it's just I haven't been like in a reading mood which is very unlike me because I was on like such a reading kick and now I'm just kind of like I don't know just not grabbing for this book but I don't think it has anything to do with the book I think it's a personal thing so yeah my sister like said this was her one of her favorite books so i'm excited um to like really get into this so i'm gonna probably do i have some work i need to get done tonight um like i need to schedule pickups for the shop and everything so i'm gonna do that all before nine it's only 8 30 and then we'll read for an hour and i want to be done off my phone and try falling asleep by 10 o'clock um, especially because my son, he, we're kind of, whatever, uh, my son, he gets up at like, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes it's like 5.45, sometimes it's 6.30, sometimes it's 7.30, like it really ranges. But lately it's been around like 5.45 and I'm just like, Brian and I are like, why didn't we go to bed earlier? It is hard because he goes down at like 7.30 and I like want some time to myself too and I also have to like shower and so I'm starting to get into like a new routine of like showering earlier especially if I know we're not leaving like today I knew we weren't going to be leaving the house because it's raining out it's just like such a mood but like such a fall cozy mood out there but I knew we weren't going to be leaving so I showered and did all that so that way when he did go down I could just like do the dishes really quick and get into bed which definitely helps saves time and trying to stay on top of bottles as much as we can so yeah, I'm gonna dive into this book tonight I'm really excited to just get like more into it because it is good and I just like I love reading I just want to get back into like that reading mindset and then I have my own book club so I'll link information below if you are interested in joining we're actually meeting for the first time on Sunday but if you're not local you can FaceTime or zoom in or you can just be part of the group chat and like discuss the book um so our next book is all the dangerous things so I haven't heard of this book but everyone in the book club said that they've heard really good 
reviews on this book and it says that it's a pacey and sinister all the dangerous things has a believable tension that keeps the pages turning i love a good thriller especially this time of year especially with this like weather it just makes it so like eerie and uh, i'm do book of the month and i love doing it i've been pretty disappointed in the books that they've given so far so i'm hoping for the month of october they'll have like some really good thrillers if not i'm probably gonna end my membership just because i keep having to skip and there's a lot of books on my tbr so i'm going to get some work done um and then tomorrow we're going to decorate for fall and i also want to work on my fall bucket list let me know if you guys would want like a sit down video and i can share my fall bucket list with you guys i'm definitely gonna make a tiktok on it but um this video will be like forever if we you know talk about everything that i want to do i'm going to do literally the smallest things as like make a pumpkin recipe like i i love this time of year if you follow me then you know i just living in new england brad and i would be like oh like maybe we should move and i just i could never move far away from here it's just literally the best state i love new hampshire it's the best state and just so cozy this time of year and it's literally just my vibe so anyways let's get some work done so that way we can read and we're gonna put on probably gilmore girls i feel like that's just the vibe okay so change of plans we're gonna go and get our nails done i was debating back and forth because i kind of just wanted to let like my natural nails just have a break but you know what <laughs> my natural nails are like they're just not good i bite them and pick at them and I love having fall nails. So I'm between a dark brown and a deep burgundy red. So let's go get them done. Okay, you guys. It's later. It's 3 o'clock. He's done one nap at 9 this morning for an hour. He's overtired. I think his teeth are bothering him. Try putting him down and he just like was, he was about to. And then he started like freaking out like he was in pain. Yeah, and grabbing his mouth. So... He's very cleany. He's overtired. We've whacked heads, so he has a little bit of a red mark that's gone down. So hopefully it won't bruise, but here are my nails. Definitely different than what I normally do, but I'm obsessed. I'll leave the color below. It's, I forget what it's called, something honey. I have it in my phone, but I love the color. It's very different, um, but like so pretty for the fall time. Like I'm obsessed. So I don't think the fall decor is gonna happen today the reason why is because it's in the attic and i have to go up a ladder he's very clingy he's not letting me put him down so it's gonna be a tomorrow project which works out because we have nothing going on tomorrow so that's gonna be the fall decorating and tonight we're gonna work on our fall bucket list read watch good work girls are you gonna go down for a nap or are you gonna go to bed at like five o'clock what's it gonna be <laughs> so we're gonna go for walk and see if that kind of tires him out as I'm on just open an Alani new <sighs> he thinks that's so funny <laughs> all right we'll probably see you guys later tonight or tomorrow when we decorate for fall